Okay, so this is the lab designing a hand warmer, and this is actually what a hand warmer is. Um, usually you keep these in your car, and if there's ever an emergency, you can crack open the seal, and it will heat up your hands. Okay, so what we're trying to do is figure out um, which chemical will heat up your hands the best. So here it's got the list of materials and the procedure. And if you look over here, I've already done the basic steps. So here are the chemicals. There are seven chemicals, and you needed five grams of each one and 100 milliliters of distilled water. Okay, so on the back, okay, you can see the list of chemicals, and I just want you to see that each has been measured. So here's the ammonium nitrate, calcium chloride, lithium chloride, magnesium sulfate, sodium acetate, sodium carbonate, and sodium chloride. So what's going to happen is we're going to add the 5 grams into each cup and then 100 milliliters of the water, stir it around, and then watch the initial temperature and then the final temperature with something called a lab quest. So this is the basic procedure and now we'll start with each chemical. Add. This is add, so, this is ammonium nitrate, it's the first chemical in the chart. Here's the 5 grams of the chemical, 100 milliliters of water, give it a stir, and then you add the temperature probe. Okay, the initial temperature was 21.6 if you didn't get that. just going to let it stabilize. Okay, final temperature, 17, we'll say 17.4. Okay, next, calcium chloride. So I just added it. So temperature 21.6. And I can tell this one is going up. <clears throat> so we're going to keep watching it until it stabilizes. Looks like that highest read, ooh, it's still going up. Good, 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 still going up. The highest I saw was 23.6, so it looks like it's slightly starting to go down now. So 23.6 will be its highest temperature. Okay, we're going to do one more, and then I have to clean the probes off. All right, lithium chloride. There's my five grams. And a milliliters of water. Alright, and now we'll add the temperature probe. 21.6, initial temperature. Okay, now you can see that's a pretty big change.
believe the highest that I saw was 28.0 or 27.9. Right now I can see 27.9, but I did see a 28.0 as the highest read. Okay, I'm going to pause it so I can clean these off. All right, let's finish up now with our last four chemicals. All right, next up is magnesium sulfate. I add my five grams. I add my water. I give it a stir. Okay, initial temperature, 19.4. Looks like it's dropping again. Not by much, but it is going down. Okay, 19.2 is the lowest. Oh, no, 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 not yet, not yet. It's still going. Yeah, we're going to say it's 19.2. It's dropping in all oh, 19.1, but it's not quite staying there. We're going to call it 19.2. Okay, next, sodium acetate. There's my five grams. 100 mils. Give it a stir. Okay, initial temperature 18.8. This one's going down again. It's pretty stable. Okay, definitely the lowest I saw was 17.7. .7. I know it's in between 7 and 8, but it was at 7 for a little There you go. 17.7 is where we'll call it. Okay, two more. Sodium carbonate. temperature 19.6. So I'm just adding these in. That's what's been happening. Twenty point one is the highest read. Okay, last one. Sodium chloride. Five grams. Hundred mils. Give it a stir. Okay, initial read. Twenty one point seven. Four point eight. Oh, 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 hang on. Okay. One more time. Yeah, I'd like to call it twenty four point eight. That's where it's most stable. And there you go. Now, your job is to answer the analysis questions and make sure you've taken the data and the charts.